Fight. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's get back inside this game then as we go live for the second map. Fatality versus Sturmy in the World Cyber Games. Quake 4 1v1 Invitational. We are already underway, just 10 seconds in or so, and Sturmy's had a decent uh, spawn as well. He's managed to pick up that Mega already, and 96 armor, sorry, the uh, red armor. Uh, that he's picked up, not the Mega Health. Mega has gone the way of Fatality. They switch over to him right now. 190. They're going to break out the uh, rockets right already over that Red Armor area. Fatality with the high ground and waiting to see whether Sturmy goes back for that ledge towards that Red Armor. He does go back for it. Lands another rocket as well. The LG comes flying out from Sturmy and finally he's going to have to back himself away out of there. And he was in a whole world of trouble if he stayed. That's why he made his move. And Fatality missed opportunity there, perhaps, right? Yeah, I, I absolutely believe that, but unfortunately, Fatality with just terrible luck. During this entire matchup, he didn't get the spawn that he wanted. Sturmy sure did, and he's definitely capitalizing on that opportunity. Sturmy, uh, his stats, 185 and 135 right now. We're going LG on LG here down low in the red armor room, and that there wasn't was even going to be close. One winner. There was only one winner in that battle, and it was always going to be the Italian. Yep. And, uh, you know, you said the stats at the end of the first map, and... If that says everything to me. If you're going to go LG to LG, you need a whole stack of armor. You need red, yellow, blue, green, and orange. I mean, there's no way you can get out of it otherwise. There's another example of why Sturmy's LG is feared throughout Quake 4. 2-0 to zero straight away, minute and a half in, and Sturmy comfortably here has the advantage, and we'll get another frag. There's the third one, clocked up yet again, and it's good old LG again. Something tells me it's going to be a long <laughs> map for my man Fat One right here. And, uh, you know, LG on LG action happening right here. But, uh, Little to nothing going on as Sturmy feeds that rail to Fatality, making a move for that Mega Fatality coming out, trying to defend that rail or that uh, Mega spawn there, and uh, he's he's gonna make uh, Sturmy work for it, but Sturmy. Gets Fatality down to 18 health. Fatality just missed the jump to the Mega, man. See, this is yeah. what happens, and, and Fatality talks about this himself. He gave everyone else on Earth a seven-month head start on this <laughs> game. Now, now, regardless, you can see what's going on right here as Sturmy gives Fatality another one. Five to zero here, and uh, something tells me that Fatality wants those seven months back right about now. Yeah, I, I think he'll be applying to Passport Control or something to send him those back in a time machine. Uh, six to zero is the score. And uh, you know what? I, this is so early in this game. I don't want to call this one, but it, <laughs> it, it's dangerous, you know? I mean, I, I, I can't see how he can get back into this game so early on. Sturmy's just moving so quickly, so freely, and so wonderfully. And his LG is just absolutely astonishing already in this game. I mean, look at it. 50% rail, 31% LG, 40% rockets. I mean, the, car, the guy can't miss right now. I know yeah. it's three minutes into the game and those stats are going to change, but you know when you start off that well, the confidence oozes, the movement makes it so much easier, and it's it's so difficult to break down someone's control on Monsoon. Monsoon is, is ridiculous for this. It has this ability where you can put 15 frags on the other guy in five minutes. I've seen it done. I've seen too good take that down on Fuki when Fuki was absolutely outstanding on this man. He put 17 in five minutes on him, and he said GG. There's yeah. just no way back from that. However, I've also seen some astounding comebacks. And you know what? The man that's the most amazing at comebacks is sitting on this server. That's right. Uh, the Fatal One himself has been known for it, and he's won world championships with it. So uh, maybe if he survives through the group stages, he'll be able to put some more together. However, he's got his hands full here. Four minutes into this er, second round here, uh, it's an eight frag deficit that he's going to have to overcome, and he can't put together much of anything as he does land a rail. But uh, Sturmy feeds him that LG, and uh, it's all over for Fatality for the ninth time wow. this round. Fatality finally getting on the board with that rail shot, but it took him nine lives to do so. And uh, we'll see if we can get something going here. Uh, Fatality 110 and 0. Sturmy at 115 and 0. Let's go ahead and switch it up to the fat man as he grabs that red armor and uh, tries to get something going here. Rocket Rail and LG for Fatality as we go close quarters. Rocket on Rocket here with Sturmy. And Sturmy's going to bail out around the corner there. And Fatality's not going to be able to capitalize on his incredible stats that he had heading into that exchange. Next exchange could be in the in the red armor room. Is the red armor about due? Yep, LG coming out from Sturmy. And Fatality trying to squeeze that rail around. But he's not going to do it as the rockets come out briefly. But back to the rail for Fatality. As Sturmy's just going to sit back and put a rail right on Fatality as he peeks around the corner there. 
But uh, Fatality looked to have control of that red. I didn't quite see if he well, did. He did have control of the red, but he didn't have control of his life because that's just been snuffed out by yet another uranium slug from the Italian flying through the face of the fat man. And he is down yet again. 10-1 off the spawn. He might just pick himself up an LG, but it's just a bit too late because Sterling comes storming around the corner with the shaft again and will grab himself an 11th frag. He'll come another one off the spawn right inside that red armor. Corner. Brilliant rockets from him as well. Fatality returns fire. And you know what? You can never count him out. Every time you ride him off, he'll come back right at you. And that's exactly what he's doing to Snurmi now. Can he get another one off the spot? He'll land another rail. He might just finish him off with a machine gun here. And that would be absolutely brilliant from Fatality. Absolutely great stuff from him. Yeah, put him in a corner and watch him go back and, and like really put you under pressure because that's exactly what he's doing right now. We're 5 minutes 30 in, he's 11-3 down, Stormy's dominated the last 10 minutes of the previous map and the first 5 minutes of this map, but you know what? It could still go either way, another brilliant exchange of rockets between both players and Fatality didn't take advantage of the... Oh, fantastic <laughs> rail! Flying through the air, the rocket jump was brilliant from Sturmy. It was perfectly judged by Fatality, and he plucked him out like a clay pigeon. It's 11 to 5, and I tell you what, Fatality's going to take a lot of heart from that one. Yeah, that's why he's the champ, and he has been the champ so many times. That type of experience that he has, it's amazing at his age. He's a, he's a relative old man. He's an sport. old man in this sport, <laughs> isn't he? And with those reflexes, man, quite impressive. Let's stick that one in an AVI somewhere, Red. I let's, think so. uh, let's file that one away, write it down, take a picture, whatever yeah, we'll, we'll we'll file that one under O for O. Yeah, oh man, I couldn't believe that shot right there. It's Fatality now with six frags on the board. A five frag deficit that he needs to overcome, but he's got plenty of weapons to do so as the rockets come out. I couldn't believe he couldn't put three in a row together against the Dermy there as he's got the LG up oh. and he does get the job done, but he pays the price with a rail. Let's see if the red comes up. Sometimes soon as Sturmy off the spawn, top side of that red armor room, he's going to have to bail out as Fatality grabs that red armor. And now Sturmy is going to make his room uh, his way around the map. Next exchange is going to occur at the Mega Hell spot. And Fatality's got control of that one, but he does eat a couple rockets there. Nice LG work from Fatality and quite the tear for the Fat Man here uh, towards the middle side of this second map. Yeah, having a nice bit of run control as well. He's managed to pick up the Mega. He's got the lockdown on that red armor as well. There you see the red spawn of Fatality. He's all over it straight away like a rash. He's also got the timing down on the Mega House and the yellow in the corner as well. So right now, Sturm is struggling to get himself any armor or health. And that's why you won't see him rushing into battle anytime soon. And in fact, he's going to have to go into battle now just to defend himself. Two good rockets Ooh. and then another stunning rail from Fatality down low. He'll get another one off the spawn. Well, he no. Brilliant mid-air rocket from Sturmy. Blasts Fatality up in the air and he's only saved by the fact that he grabbed that Mega House at just the right time because he only had 74 health. But he will get one more frag back. We have a one frag game. This could be the tied frag time. No, Fatality gets out of there in a hurry. He's only got 58 health and 52 armor. He now has to know he has to top up quickly if, if uh, Sturmy knows that he'll be wounded as well. So he'll want to chase him down. And I think, we, I think we might just get a little bit of a thaw here now because both players are pretty injured right now. 92, no, 30 to after that rail for Sturmy and 82 82 Fatality will go in for the kill here with the LG and that is the equalization kill 11 all now and a brilliant comeback from Fatality 655 remaining and we're all square what a run for Fatality with eight frags in a row here very similar to what Sturmy did before and you can see the explosive power of both of these players as Fatality takes the lead there with the latest rail Mega is up Batman wants it. Is he going to take it? Yep. Sturmy doesn't want to make a move for it because he knew that the fatal <laughs> one would make him pay. And now around the corner comes a rail from Fatality and the Mega and Red now in control of Fatality. The American sensation for so long. This guy has been around the block so many times at a nice prediction rail there by Fatality. Sturmy kind of lost a little bit of his mojo there for a little while. We'll see if he can get it back as we set our sights on him here. What do you think over there? Well, right? you know, you're know, you right. He has lost his mojo. He's got no idea where it is right now. 30 health only, no armor whatsoever, and, and it's it's he looks a different player again, and, and that's the kind of game we've had all the way through. It's like the first map, very much in control of Fatality the first few minutes. Second half is a smashing rocket down again on Sturmy. He'll go down for, what, I think that's what, 11 frags in a row, maybe 12? 14-11 uh -huh. yep. uh, is the score, and three frag advantage, and Sturmy just needs to stem this little blood flow of frags right now, because he needs to grab some control, which he's going to get with the Mega Health now. It's a risky little move, but again, Fatality in there with that lightning gun is stunning from him. And that was that was like sturdy like LG in there. And he'd take him down with stripped all that health away as well as the Mega Health he just picked up. 
and that, that's exactly what he's got to keep doing. Fatality just keep going on at him, and eventually he'll hit a point around about, I, don't, I guess, around about four minutes, where if he has five frags in the lead, I think you'll see a very, very defensive Fatality. Yeah, I think Fatality had the juice run going there uh, for a while, but Sturmy interrupts it with that frag. 15 to 12 now, three frag game for Fatality as we enter the final five minutes of this second round. Fatality is oh. going to make a move for that Mega, oh. but not so fast as Sturmy with that LG getting I, the kill. I tell you what, that's going to be absolutely massive right there. Just that fraction later, he would have had that Mega Health. It would have saved him. You never know how the outcome of that particular frag could have happened. And Sturmy won it. He not only won it, but he got the Mega Health as well. He's got the conversion kill, and he's got a lockdown on the time for the Red Armor now as well. And with 4 minutes 30 remaining, the, the, the switch has occurred again, and it's all with Sturmy right now. It's Fatality on the run. Yeah, it's, it's going to be hard for, for Fatality to dig his way back out now that he's lost control of the map. He really wanted to hold on to it for a long time. Unfortunately, the, the right amount of time did pass, and now Fatality is going to have to claw out of this hole that he's currently in as Sturmy takes the lead back 16 to 15. And there's four minutes and ten seconds remaining in this round. Yeah, it could have been so different on that fight for the Mega if, if uh, Fatality had won that. He would have had a five frag lead, of course, and we were approaching the five minute mark. So that, that's kind of like the defensive style that he'll play. And that, that would be how he played. But he had no option but to go absolutely super aggressive off the spawns as soon as Sturmy made that conversion kill. Because there's nothing he could do about it. He couldn't run. He didn't have any armor. He didn't have any health. Had no option whatsoever but to try and fight back and chip away at some of the health that Sturmy has. And unfortunately for him, it's just not been a Enough. He's 51-1 right now, and he got a face full of rockets from Sturmy. And uh, Fatality, rather, will give her Sturmy a face full of rockets, and that might just give him some hope. They're tied at 16 all right now. They're not particularly uh, in control of the map, but Fatality will blow Sturmy to kingdom come with that rocket as they go through the teleporter. Might get another one off the conversion. He will get the conversion kill as well, and that puts Sturmy right on the back foot. He'll drop down into the rail cupboard, grab himself that rail. Does land one rail, couldn't land the second one, and here comes Fatality Steam Train storming back into the lead once more. 19-16, but hold on. Sturmy's taking yet another rail shot, and I tell you what, one more frag, and you'll see Fatality going plus back mode quickly. <laughs> Fatality has control and a lockdown on the Mega and the Red. I call that one the juice run, buddy. And he's going to have to maintain this all the way to the end if he wants to have a chance against Sturmy. If he loses ground on any of these items right here, then, uh, then Sturmy's going to have a chance to return and be victorious in this second map, and that's not what Fatality needs. No. If Fatality can hold on, we'll take it to a third, and it's gonna take a, an, a process of elimination to figure out exactly what the third map is. Who got, what was the frag right, total yeah. of, uh, of um, the I'm map? just trying to think back, actually, because I think it's gonna be pretty close if it ends like this, so, yeah. you know, I. I it's definitely won by a fair amount, so I guess he'll get the advantage if, the, if we do end up going yes, for a third map. But you know what? Two minutes, 23. Uh, we said we'd call this game around about 12 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think seriously. that was about nine minutes ago. It looked pretty one-sided. Right now, it, it, it looks pretty tight, I have to say, and it could go either way. Sturmy does have the lockdown now with that Mega Health, and he has that perfectly timed. He's also thrown it off a little bit as well. So, actually, Fatality is not able to get to that Mega. The Red has spawned. Sturmy's going to throw off the... Uh, actually, you know what? I don't think Sturmy has a lockdown on that Red at all, because he missed that Red completely. He didn't even see it down there. But instead, he's going for the kills. He's running out of time, of course. He's not just got one opponent as a mid-air record smashes into Sturmy. That was a brilliant one from uh -oh. Fatality, who's gone towards the yellow. He's going to miss out on that yellow as well, but Sturmy's taken a whole load of abuse down there. And now, with 145, he's not just fighting Fatality now. He's got another opponent in there, and it's called the Clock. Yeah, one minute and 38 seconds remaining. Four frag lead for Fatality. Let's turn our sights to him in the final stages of this round as uh, Fatality 45 and zero is uh, mid-level now. He's taking the stairs down and grabbing some shards as we watch Sturmy also making a move for the Mega. And he's got the stats, but what he doesn't have is the time. Fatality mo uh, should most certainly go down here very soon if Sturmy can do it. No, he's not gonna be able to do it. As Fatality down to six health and 50 armor almost goes down. Sturmy can't seal the deal quite yet, and we are in the final minute of this second round with Fatality up by four. It's going to be a tall order for this Sturmy to come back. This is going to be a back. very, very tough order indeed for the Italian to come back in this one. Although, having said that, he does have the control right now, but you know what? He can't find him. I mean, Fatality is pulling off the greatest Houdini copycat move of all time because Sturmy's running around the map going like, where the heck did this guy go? Finally finds him inside that 
Teleporter room high. He's gone through the window on the well once more and he'll grab the uh, yellow on the way. Well, he, no, he won't. He'll come out with the LG. He's just got to go for it now. He has no time. No time. Got to try and get this frag if he wants to get back into the game. Mega health has been claimed. 30 seconds to go. And do you know what? With 20 seconds to go, Fatality can just sit there with his fingers off the keyboards and the mouse and not respawn and he will win this map. It's 20 to 16 with 20 seconds remaining. Brilliant rail from Sturmy though. He does land one, but there's just too little time and Sturmy is not only beaten by Fatality in this game, he is beaten by the clock. It's 10 seconds he can use all the spawn time in the world to get back in this one and it's fatality that will take map two here on monsoon what an interesting turn of events to with Sturmy coming on strong and fatality coming up late and a couple seesaw battles there for a while absolutely right? both, was... both players seem to have the upper hand at certain points and it looked you know it looked pretty close there's fatality then wins map two by 20 to 16 and we'll bring you the set the third and final map in just a couple of moments time